Hello, my name is Martin and today I want to talk about different classes of sensor models for the simulation of ADAS and autonomous vehicles and specifically about the most detailed models in CarMaker. In the real world, sensors are used to see the surroundings of the car. Then the perception algorithms try to extract relevant objects and provide this information to the subsequent planning and control modules. In simulation, we have equivalents of those sensors too. They are called raw signal interfaces and provide information on the raw data level for the perception algorithms. These are the most complex sensor models in CarMaker and they are based on ray tracing and rasterization technologies modeling physical effects of the signal propagation in a 3D environment. But there are other equally important sensor model classes. Ideal sensor models act as ground truth extractors for relevant objects, such as traffic objects, road markings, traffic signs and so on. Hi-Fi sensor models also provide information on an object list level, but are considering physical and stochastic effects for the simulated sensor technology. For example, occlusion, sensitivity to weather effects and so on. As these two classes are just extracting relevant information, it is not necessary to model a high-detail 3D world. They just need a CPU, no GPU, to be calculated. But for edge cases and perception tests in general, you need the raw signal interfaces. For the rest of this video, I will focus on these RSIs, which require detailed 3D environments and material parameters to provide realistic outputs. CarMaker offers very advanced models for all relevant autonomous vehicle sensors camera, lidar, radar and ultrasonic. All of these models are continuously refined and made more detailed, while still being highly performing and real-time capable. Let's take a look at some news for two of these sensor technologies. First off, let's start with the LiDAR RSI. In this demo, we are coming home from work in the evening and are entering our neighborhood. The LiDAR RSI is providing LiDAR reflections from the environment. The color indicates the signal intensity, with yellow being very high and purple being very low. If you are already using the LiDAR RSI model in CarMaker, you know that you can simulate the divergence of a LiDAR beam by using multiple rays per beam. In this example, I am using 3x3 three three rays to simulate a single beam. You can see these multiple points here on the side of the trailer. With the updated interaction point model in CarMaker 10, each of these rays can now return multiple intensities along its path. This results in even more information from a single laser beam, especially showing complex multi-bounce effects. This allows for a more realistic representation of specular materials as well as more profound secondary reflections of other materials. Specular materials are not only represented by their mirror-like behavior, but also reflect smaller amounts of power in non-specular directions. The refinement becomes most apparent on wet road surfaces or a glossy car finish. For example, you can see the mirrored license plates of the parked and oncoming vehicles really nicely in this puddle on the road. And for this oncoming car, it's also easy to spot the specular reflection of the paint on the side of the vehicle, making it invisible for the LiDAR. The diffuse material of the trailer is still detected. Furthermore, you can see the effect of the relative surface orientation very nicely in the front of the vehicle, with the high intensity reflections from surfaces oriented towards the sensor. As we are now looking for a parking spot, we can take a look at the data from the ultrasonic sensors. The wave scattering model of the ultrasonic RSI has received a complete rework. We have mounted 8 sensors on the car, 4 in the front, 4 in the rear, all visualized in different colors. The physical scattering model now delivers correct sound pressure values for complex shapes. The underlying mechanism makes it possible that each interaction with the environment returns an echo, while the wave is further propagated through the scene, considering material properties and atmospheric effects. Of course, the known effects such as cross echoes are still part of the model. Overall, this results in much higher accuracy in complex scenes. In addition to that, the output interface is now more device-oriented, providing structured outputs for the transmitters and receivers. So let's see which results these changes provide, now that we have found a parking spot. The size of the reflection points shows the sound pressure amplitude. The color indicates the sending sensor. 
we can see very nicely the occlusion effect at the pole in the front. And we can also see a nice interference pattern here on this surface of the car on the right, where the ultrasonic waves interact with each other and lead to areas of constructive and destructive interference. We also see the realistic reflection from the pole. This round structure is only modeled as an extruded hexagon, but still providing realistic reflections on all surfaces. A purely geometric ray tracing approach would not show any reflections here, as the rays would be reflected away into the distance. All in all, these updated models together with the well-known and validated radar RSI model and the introduction of Movie NX for camera simulation bring real-time physical sensor simulation to a whole new level. Check it out for yourself in CarMaker 10.